we're joined now by two of the senior members of the Bulldog Hockey Program, John Gizzy, Owen Miller. Now, Owen, I, I heard before that you just had your wisdom teeth taken yeah. care of, so I'm going to try and be easy and not ask you. John, so, so John, you got to do most of the talking here, okay? Uh, yep, I will. Well, well, first of all, tell us a little bit about, there's a big program coming up this year with your hockey program. Tell us about that. Um, it's called the Survivorship Program, and it's in, um, I guess, in relation with the Yolanda G. Barco Oncology Center. And what we do is we try to raise money for the survivorship program. And what the survivorship program is, is it's a program that's designed to help people who have just um, successfully um, battled cancer and, you know, to help them get back on their feet. Because, I mean, after, after cancer and going to chemo for so many years, people are, don't really know what to do with themselves. So this program is designed to help them um, try to, I guess, get adjusted back into, into normal life. Um, so we raise money for that program to is help those people. How's the, how's the fundraising part of that happen? I, I want to I, I congratulate you on doing that. Hey, that's a great thing. I've had family members who have been through that. And you, you're right. When, when you're going through every waking minute, you're focused on, you know, I got this appointment with a doctor today. I got this therapy today. I got this chemotherapy. I got this radio, whatever. You know, that's, that like yeah. sort of takes over your whole life. And then when it's over, you know, wow, well, now, it'll, now what do I do? So right. I, that's, a, that's a good thing. That's a very good thing. Well, how, how's, the money, how's the money raising part? How does that work? Um, there's two ways we generate money. Actually, I guess take that back three. Um, first off, we have a Pink the Ring game. Um, right now, we don't have a date yet, but we will, we're designating that in October for Breast Cancer Month. Good. Um, we'll have ads in the paper, on TV, various um, forms to um, is, uh, display to the community when our game is. Um, a second way we generate uh, money for the survivorship program is to take one-time donations. Um, people sometimes approach us and say, I want to donate um, a certain amount, and you know, that's that. And then we have a, um, a pledge card that people designate a certain amount for each power play goal we score. Um, for example, last year we scored 40 power play goals, and if somebody pledged $2, um, $80 would come to us. And we, and we total all the pledges, and we multiply that times our power play goals, and then we get the total funds raised. In the past, that's worked out to a fair bit of money, as I understand. Mm -hmm. So, so congratulations for that. And, and uh, how'd this, how'd, how'd you guys, you know, how'd, how'd this kind of catch on with you guys? Um, every year, um, a, a senior group takes it over. They pass it on from senior class to senior class. Um, last year, Rob Stainbrook and Kate Nickerson did it. And this year, Owen and I decided that we'd like to take over um, this program. And that's, that's pretty much how it works. Just passed off from senior class to senior class. Very good. Well, thanks for doing that. Um, I certainly, I'm sure the folks from Orlando Barco will, will talk to you a million times about that. But that's a great thing. Yeah. That's a great thing that you're doing. Life, life kind of works like, you know, something, something catches with you, you know, and, and uh, you can help other people. And helping other people starting you guys here off in the hockey program, that's a wonderful thing. Got to ask you about the hockey, though. I mean, I, I'm a big sports fan myself. And, and uh, well, what do you think? What's the, what's the year? How's the, how's the outlook for the season for the hockey players here? I think the season's going to go very well. Um, we always try to keep a positive attitude going into the season. Um, we have some very good older players, um, great leadership with the seniors, but we also have some very good underclassmen. Um, this season, we're looking forward to playing in the Meville Invitational, which is in January, um, and it highlights some great teams that we play. Um, some teams are Erie Cathedral Prep, um, obviously from Erie. And then we like to play the Cleveland schools too, and there's a big rivalry there between schools like St. Ignatius and St. Edwards. So that's something we look very forward to. Um, it's got to be fun to, to be on the Bulldog program with the great history with the Bulldog program. And, and uh, you know, talk about that for a little bit. What's it, what's it like to, to wear that Bulldog jersey? It um, means a lot. Um, obviously, there's a lot of history um, in this building, in this town. Um, it's something we take a great deal of pride in. And I think, I think I mean, people, I mean, really, I mean, set the, uh, set the bar high for us. So we try to live up to that. Um, sometimes it's hard, but, you know, we, we keep on pushing. We stay positive. And hopefully, we can get the job done. Get over to, I get over to a couple games every year, and it really gets rocking here in the, in the mark. So uh, what's that like to get skate out there and hear that crowd roaring? What's that like? Um, it's nice. It's, it's glad. Uh, we're happy to know that people support us. Um, they want to see us win. That's a good feeling. I mean, if you don't have people supporting you, I think it takes away from the game. You aren't as motivated to play. So with um, strong support, um, we feel very confident. Now, Owen, you got the, you're a defenseman, is that yeah. right? Yeah. Uh, how's it look for you this year? Um, I think I'm going to be the only senior defenseman. So our defense will be uh, younger kids, but I feel confident that with hard work and uh, just good practice that we will uh, We'll come through this year. You guys think it ahead, but uh, you know maybe where you're going to go for college, what you're going to do after after high school. Have you thought that far ahead? Um, I've been thinking about it a little bit. Um, I don't want to acknowledge the fact that I'm going to be leaving high school soon, <laughs> but 
Yeah, I've been looking into it this summer, looking, um, looking at some colleges. Hopefully this year I'll be able to visit some. Something I'm definitely looking into. What about you, Owen? You thinking that far down the road? Yeah, I'm looking at Penn State. It's where my family has a past and it's where my sister goes. So. Good for it just you. looks like the right school for Good me. For you. In fact, I think Penn State's got some hockey going on down there. Yeah, D1, so. they just uh, built a new rink, so I'll probably get a season pass and watch them. That's pretty exciting. That's yeah. pretty exciting. Well, again, guys, one more time, congratulations on what you're doing. I think that's a great thing. Uh, probably the, the biggest part is, is A, the, the topic you've picked. It's a wonderful thing. Uh, it's unfortunately, for whatever reason, we have a fair number of folks with cancer in the community. Yeah, and and um, doing something for them is a great thing. It is great for you to get, uh, you know, to get that sort of experience under your belt. You know, when you get to college, those kind of things will, mm -hmm. will happen there too. You know, and you'll, right. you'll, already have your, you'll already have some experience you can call back on. So good for you. Good for you. And thanks for doing that. Thank you. John, Owen, appreciate you, you being with us here Thank in you. Medicine and Meeple today. Mm -hmm.